And we get the first dude chant of the night. Niederreiter in for Minnesota. Gives it to Stewart. Koivu taps to Niederreiter. He scores! Well, it's like last night never ended. Uh, this line uh, had a very good forecheck last night against Calgary. It created chances. And look at this play. What a beautiful, patient play, not only by Niederreiter, who got the puck in front, but by Koivu, who got the puck, drew the defense up to him, and then just gave a quick touch pass off the pressure along the wall, and then get to the net or get pucks to scoring areas. And uh, they play differently. Uh, they cannot accept the same kind of pressure, but they can stay in the offensive zone. Spurgeon holds for Minnesota, his shot blocked. Nolan trying to spin away from Dumba. Finds Clifford in the high slot, his shot blocked, and here's a chance for Vanek on the breakaway. Thomas Vanek in, saved by Quick, and Fontaine just beaten to the rebound by Regeer. Comes across, he can do the splits, and then lay his whole body and stomach and chest onto the ice. A smart defensive play too, that was a block shot that created uh, that exit. Dubnik sets it up behind the net. Dumba for Granlund. Wild come to center. Parisi into the L.A. zone. Parisi trying to work around. Doughty fires on goal. And it's covered by Quick. Dubnik here holds his ground. The puck winds up over the top of the goal. Brown tried to center. Intercepted by Granlund. Schrader. Trying to get it to Haula. was in his skate. So Haula has to put on the brakes. Dumba to Schrader into the L.A. zone. Schrader works around Dowdy, a backhander on goal, and it's covered by Quick for night. And the Wilds top time on ice man. And then when you consider that they also figure heavily into the, their team's postseason, there for the Wild, tied up behind the net by Kopitar. Puck comes to the near side boards, and now Sakara works his way in. Sakara fires, and a pad save by Dubnik. Smart. Williams has his pass just too far for Kopitar. Wild turn it back. Koivu turns it over. Will Williams to Gabrick. His shot kicked out by Dubnik. Sakara to Kopitar off of his stick, and Koivu has it. To Stewart. Back to Koivu. He scores! The captain of the backhand makes it 2-0. Not tracking these guys is a mistake. And this is the second goal the Wild have scored where they've made touch pass plays and quick execution on the shot that goes in. This isn't a scramble. This isn't some shot through a screen. Both goals that this line has scored has been touch pass, quick, tape to tape. Scandella starts out for the Wild, gives to Leopold. Vanek deflected it, but not into the zone. Carter's back in for Los Angeles. Fires on goal, knocked aside by Dubnik. With that line, and Stewart made a couple of nice feeds over the last couple days. Interesting because that line makes its living working down low along the wall. Numbers have flipped around to go with those team numbers. So they've been hot. Green fires and a save by Dubnik. Back situations for Minnesota have included the second game of the two on the road. Carter in here for L.A. to King, and he scores. On the one-timer, he beats Dubnik over the shoulder. And the Kings have cut the Minnesota lead in half. A good start to the second period for Los Angeles. Well, when you don't get the puck out of the zone, especially when you barely don't get it out, inside the blue line, watch the Wild at the top. Up the blue line, the puck gets pushed and kicked and poked, but it gets kept in. Well, guess which way your skates are pointed. Most of the wild players were exiting the zone trying to get that puck out, and so now you're just backtracking. 
It was the second period for Minnesota in St. Louis recently, second period in Carolina. In each case, the Wild were able to win those games in the third. The gear plays it ahead. King was unable to deflect it by Spurgeon. Carter in for Los Angeles. Watched by Fontaine. He fires one off the side of the net. Williams centers, and it was deflected on goal. Dubnik kicks it out for Minnesota. Fontaine carries to center. To FoxSportsNorth.com for more details. Dubnik with a blocker save, and the puck loose out front. Nice for Granlund. Randlin settles it down. Good at the line. He goes to Parisi in the corner. Centered! Spurgeon was there. The pass was behind him. Pominville to Granlin. Granlin fires. Saved by Jones. And he hangs on with Parisi nearby. Not a surprise given that coach right there we just saw. Yeah, both these teams are very structured. Mike Yo knew that they were going to see some similar styles between these two clubs. Both of them are very stingy in terms of Shots on goal per game. First period, Minnesota actually had more hits officially than the Kings, 3-2. Kings have six hits in the first half of the second period. They've clearly been more physical. Carter, cross ice to Foley in stride. Cut off by Leopold, so he has to dump it into the Minnesota zone. Dumba turns it over to Foley! Denied by Dubnik! Tough for goaltenders to read, and I think Dubnik has passed well, that test so far in this period. Good chance for Dumba right off this face off. Schrader fires. It's loose and deflected just wide. A couple guys with speed who seem to share the same kind of creativity. Martinez with a shot. Deflected on goal. Loose puck, and we're going to get a whistle and a penalty. LA 11th in the NHL so far this season on the power play. Wild number one on the kill. Dabrick fires, pad save, Dubnik controlled by LA. Carter has it in the middle. Hands it off to Doughty. Down low, Kopitar. Doughty a drive, and what a block by Brodeen on a point blank chance for Toffoli. Carter looking. Plays it up high. Doughty down low. One man short for Minnesota. To Foley. Stopped by Dubnik. And then fired the rebound wide. I'm not sure if the Wild angered the scheduling gods, but with the back to backs and the strength of competition down the stretch and the road games that they've had, it's been a tough stretch and they've, they've passed it very well so far. Vanek tied up there. Vanek emerges with the puck. Gains the offensive zone, tried to play it across to Coyle and turned it over. Lewis in for L.A. Fires, knocked down by Dubnik, and the rebound pushed to safety by Brodine. Well, the Wild have been either on the upper hand or even in the third period. The last team to outscore him in the third was Calgary, way back on the 18th of February. Suter holds at the line. Commonville in the corner, leaves it for Parisi. Parisi to Granlund. His stick was lifted by Toffoli. And we get a whistle and a penalty coming against L.A. The Wild will go on the power play. As quick-footed as you are. And so if you can scamper around, you can draw some penalties. And that was a good example of Pominville trying to spin loose. Power play for Minnesota. Four forwards and a defenseman. Pominville fires, tipped by Parisi, and held by Jones. A good one-timer by Pominville. So again, getting that shot off, this time they had some steam on it. Carter in shorthanded for L.A. and his shot deflected wide by Dubnik. Number nine among all defensemen. Second highest total he's had in his career. To Foley. Down low, Williams. Saved by Dubnik. Dubnik shoved backward. And was he able to keep the puck out? Yes, he was. Gives to King, their goal scorer, a long one in, knocked down by Dubnik. Plays it to the boards. Pominville sent it all the way across. Got blocked. Parisi unable to clear. It's right back in. Trevor Lewis in the corner for Los Angeles. Watched by Granlund. He floated one through. Kicked out by Dubnik. And then Carter hit the side of the net on the rebound. Since the end of the first period, they have a 24-8 advantage in shots on goal. Granlund in for Minnesota. 
Nifty drop pass for Pominville. He fires and a save by Jones. Scandella gives to Koivu. Things have been able to generate shorthanded goals. They have seven of them on the year. But five of those scored by Toffoli, the man who's in the penalty box. Niederreiter on the tip, scores for Minnesota. And the power play goal stretches the lead to 3-1. Well, they say you'll know whether that penalty was good or bad in about two minutes. <laughs> well, it only took. A minute and one second and for the Wild to let the Kings know that it was inadvisable. Beautiful deflection here as Niederreiter gets a deflection off Spurgeon's stick. The Wild score into the empty net. Koivu with his second of the night. And Minnesota has iced it. It's 4-1 wild. What a night for Minnesota's top line. Two goals for Koivu, two goals for Niederreiter, and Minnesota will extend their win streak to five. Well, Wild have been on pucks. And that line in particular all night long.